about to fight, start off the first of uh, two fights to determine the two contenders for the Unified Featherweight Amateur Championship. Fighting out of the red corner, Adam Walsh, Fighting Fit Manchester in the black tights, black trunks. Facing Elliot Powell from SBG UK, SBG Manchester. This should be a hell of a fight. Yeah, this whole tournament, all four guys, all excellent fighters. Uh, you know, they could have been matched up any which way and I would have been excited for the fights. This one in particular, Cross Manchester Derby. A good shoot there for the single for Walsh. And Walsh, you know, he's breezed through some of his fights really oh. easily. Excellent grappling game. Really fast moves to transitions and gets on people's backs and chokes them. And straight away there, got to side control, dominant position. And Powell probably didn't expect to be in this place this early. Powell, of course, deposited right next to his corner. So you got Coach Tanswell, Matt Inman, and the inimitable. I, th I thought I saw Alex Minogue there as well, I'm sure, given <laughs> a little bit of advice. But it's definitely uh, Tanswell and Inman in the corner. Yeah, it is all three, correct, Steve? Well, like I say, Walsh likes to get to the back. Well, uh, Powell doesn't want to give that up, but he's done well there. Uh, thought he was going to get his guard back. Not quite. Good ground and pound there from Walsh. Walsh stays so incredibly busy. Landing a couple of hammer fists, then tries the knee on belly again. Then he'll look to the hammer fist, back to the knee on belly. Yeah, he transitions so well, which is what I've noticed in the fights I've seen him in. His transitions, so fast and fluid. Really nice. Ironically enough, reminded me of um, like a, a young Gunnar Nelson, the way that he moves, who's obviously an SBG product. Yeah. Moves good hips, low, transitions around, makes it look effortless. And, you know, Powell's an undefeated guy, 3-0. And, oh, and Walsh is just controlling him pretty easily at this point we've seen we've seen Powell in tough positions before in his fights he tends to tends to get woken up after he gets sort of stung a couple of times but fair play again to Walsh absolutely smothering at the moment not giving Powell any opportunity he's trying to trying to squirm hip escape shrimp but Walsh just not having any of it neon belly again just keeps going round in circles Ooh. looking for a guillotine if you can get all the way over to Mount, that could be tight. Powell doing the right thing, trying to fight the wrist. He's got out of that guillotine attempt. But he's beat. there's no let up from Walsh from the top. Punches, submission attacks. Every time Powell does the right thing in trying to, uh, trying to defend, Walsh changes his position. He's just like one step ahead at the moment. A couple of steps ahead. Guillotine again. He stepped over. That looks tight. Could be under the that chin. Nice I think that's it. That is really tight. Yeah, yeah, the what a performance from Adam Walsh. Fantastic from Adam Walsh. This young kid is something special. Very nice. Very impressive uh, display of grappling there from Adam Walsh. And he'll go on to the final. And Ooh. with that performance, whoever he draws, he'll have to feel confident. They'd have to feel very confident. Adam, Adam Walsh looked the business there. You know. These young featherweights here, three fights, four fights into their amateur careers, they're not fighting that way.
Number three. 